Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stanton. Welcome, welcome. So let's see if we're live yet. It okay. takes, it's like, there's just like a little delay. Not there yet. we go. It's, Are you coming? Yeah. It's showing me here. So let me, let me get it open. Is it opening? Here we go. Uh, are you in there? I'm in. Oh, okay. Well, welcome then. <laughs> he fell off. What Izzy, did? Izzy fell off the bed. Oh, Izzy did? Okay. She pulled backwards. All right, you get her set up. I I'm going to see if I can get. Hey, Jackie. Kristen Lafredo Winslow, Kristen Tatum. Cindy Ernst from Colorado. Oh, wow. Angie. Let's see. Tater. Okay, I do see Tater. Uh -huh. I just got done saying later, Tater. <laughs> later, Tater. Um, France, hi. Karen, Angie, Kristen. Kristen, two Kristens, Jackie, um, that's all I see, kind of got, maybe, oh, Angie, Madison, there's Madison, great, thank you so much, you guys, for joining in, I don't know if you can tag okay. mom or whatever, but I don't know what the deal is there, we just got, got to get going, regardless, so, welcome, 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 I just want to say, if you are new to my Facebook Lives, go ahead and say hello, introduce Happy yourself. Happy Wednesday from Karen Jones. Ooh. Sorry. Right in the middle of my sentence there. I'm sorry. Let me try again. <laughs> if you're new, go ahead and say hi and tell us where you're from so that we can um, try to get, get an idea of where people are at. And hi, Karen. Happy Wednesday to you, too. So... Um, share the video. That's how you get into the drawing. So share the video. Yeah. Spread the word. Start share a watch party. Love. You guys, that was so wonderful last time. There was a lot of watch parties started. So I appreciate that so much. I'm going to break this up this time because there's just so many announcements during celebration. So we're going to do the quick reverse revision here and we're going to break them up into two parts and the reason why is because Stampin' Up! has stuff but I've got some new exciting stuff to tell you too. All of the stuff that I'm going to present from Stampin' Up! you can actually find um, on their website or mine but so let's just get started. Right now is celebration and we're in full swing. <clears throat> We're um, about halfway through, which is awesome. There's a lot of people who have been doing some great orders. What Celebrations is, if you're new, is it is kind of a huge sale where for every $50 that you spend, you get a, a prize for it, a present. So there's everything from stamp sets like this to paper like that. There's some embellishments on that page. There's card kits. Here's another stamp set. Just more paper, which this is awesome paper. Everybody should own this paper. Yes, they should. <laughs> um, a punch, just all kinds of things. So um, that's kind of the gist. The only thing that I do want to <laughs> let you know is that, okay, what are you giggling about? Joy saying she's new and from Ohio. <laughs> Joy, you are new. Remind me, I need to have a conversation with you this week. So text me or something. I, I need to give you a call. Hey, Beth Ann. Um, hi, Beth Ann. The only thing that I do want to let you know is this this set, this stamp set in the back, is actually um, um, a set that you earn for a $300 order or if you host a party. So if you're interested in knowing how to do that, let me know and I will... This is the stamp set I just wanted you to see. We're going to go real quick over Paper Pumpkin. So Paper Pumpkin, right now you have until when to sign up? Monday, the 10th. The 10th for your month-to-month um, -month subscription, which is a $22 purchase per month. And it's this little box that comes to your mailbox every month. I love it. Um, but you can also do prepaid prescriptions. 
subscriptions. I still want to say prescriptions. Subscriptions. subscriptions. And I'm just going to tell you, there's one month, three months, six months, and a year. The year is the best deal. The one thing that I will say is if even a one month uh, subscription, you end up paying a dollar less for the box. And that holds through all the way until the one year subscription, which really you're ending up with um it's $220 and you're ending in which would be regularly 264 so there's a bigger savings plus it's like two months free the best thing to order subscriptions is during paper pumpkin you can order them anytime but you do earn some of those freebies out of that catalog that I just talked to you about so I want you to know that next thing is they have great opportunities if you join my team and become a demonstrator. You get a free pack of DSP. This is a sampler pack of all of the new DSPs, which is pretty awesome. So I have that to show you. I've already broke into it. You get this free paper cutter. I love that. And you get a choice of your stamp set. So whatever stamp set you want to pick, you get a choice of that. So it's not a bundle that was asked of me before, but it's $99 to join. You don't have to recruit. You don't have to sell. You can just be a discount shopper and buy your own supplies. So there, that went so much faster. Yes. I do have a debate question here tonight. Kind of give you guys some stuff to talk about um, while I am uh, doing the demonstration, but do you do cards, more cards, horizontal or vertical? It's just a question. There's no right or wrong answer here. I'm just curious if you tend to make more horizontal or vertical. Ooh, vertical, horizontal. Got to get mine straight here. So we're going to go. That's the first one. Honey. You hand me the project box. Oh, yeah, it's a heavy one. It's because I'm going to, we're going to be doing a little punching little bit. There's Not a any, lot of punches in there, Izzy. There's three punches. They're essential to a crafter. Yeah, well, Izzy goes left, crossed over, blocked out the sun. <laughs> so tonight I have actually kind of the cutest little um, card that we're going to make for our first project. And then I have a matching uh, little uh, treat container that I want to show 50, you 50 so far on the vertical horizontal it's about 50 50 you say okay so far there's a lot of people voting. so we're going to be using the bonanza the buddies and i don't know if you've seen this in the catalog and just so you know if you don't have a catalog and you want a catalog i'm more than willing to send you a catalog i just need your name and your a mailing address and um also you know um, if you have a demonstrator, I'd like I'd like to refer you to go back to your demonstrator. But if you don't, I'm willing to be your demonstrator. So we're going to use the Bonanza uh, Buddies today, and it actually comes with some dies. What? Well, to be my demonstrator. <laughs> Can you guys hear him? He is comical tonight. He's singing, won't you be my demonstrator? Um... This is the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. You're kind of distracting me. Here. I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> okay. There are some dies that come and cut out these cute little images. I absolutely love them. There's a little lion, um, a koala bear, and then the toucan, which is so cute. And beautiful, colorful paper, which is where I got my idea for its two-sided paper. It's all this birthday stuff. Now, you would think that this is geared towards children but I just want to let you know that I'm actually going to be using this for my daughter this year who will be turning 31. There's many reasons why behind it but so this can be for anybody. All right let's get started. I'm gonna hand that to you to put in there okay. Should I give these to him now? Are you still keeping count? Yeah. If I give them to you now? Okay. You earned them. Thank you. All right, so I have a really fun little card that I'm really tickled about. 5545, baby. Vertical over horizontal. Vertical. I See, I think I tend to do vertical, too. Um, so we'll just keep seeing what the score is, what, what it adds up to be. All right, I'm going to bring out my little... 
what did I do with the, here it is, the, with my um, stamp and trimmer here? Because I'm going to make a little trim on this, and I'm going to have to open this up. Isn't that cool? I love that it lengthens out. So this is a piece of four and a quarter by 11 cardstock. What? What? <clears throat> I count better than the caucus did. Next oh, time. no. <laughs> oh, no. That was good, though. Who said that? Bethann. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're getting a lot of heat. A lot for, of heat out here. <laughs> for the caucus right now. Okay, so I want to cut this. It's at 11, and I just want to cut it just a smidge down. So we're going to go uh, one. So why is this not? Here we go. One. I'm going to cut it down to ten and seven eighths. Ooh, listen to that. Mm, cut. It is, isn't it? It's, Hold on your finger in there. Well, it's stuck here. My little piece is stuck. I cut such a thin little piece. It's stuck. There we go. Okay, and I do that. You don't necessarily have to, but it'll make sense why I did here in just a minute. And then, oh, I should just keep this out. Hi, Gloria. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. By the way, Gloria, thank you for the card. This thing is so stinking cute. I just love it. Just an adorable little, I don't know if you know this or not, but I absolutely love birds. And I love how she dressed up the envelope. Isn't that cute? I'll hand that to you. Was hoping she would come so I could say yeah. thank you. Okay, so then we're going to do a little bit of score work here. And I'm going to score this at two and a half. By six. I'm going to have, I should have left it open. I don't know what I was thinking. You've got me frazzled. Six and three quarter. I'm kidding. I just like to blame you. Me and Joy. That's the two you blame the most. Yeah, I haven't really picked on Joy lately. No, nope, that's fine. I think maybe I need to do a little more picking. Okay, so I folded the card over, and I'm going to go ahead and just score it. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm just going to show you anyway. For some reason, when you score, the side that's got the little bump is the side that you're supposed to fold in. It helps keep from less crinklies on the outside. Just a tip. That I hope. was less crinklies? Yes, it was. <laughs> that's fine. I'm just making sure. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot my piece of DSP. I'll have to cut that here too. But let's just move on. Let's go grab it. I wanted to have kind of a real birthday look, so I picked this paper. And it's double-sided, and it's really hard because I really like this side too, but I really like the presents. I don't know. Which do you guys like? I'm going to cut this at 4x4. Four four. So it's already cut at 4 here. So I'm just going to cut it at 4 inches. I love this trimmer. I love this trimmer. I always try to work at 3 to 4 inches when I'm cutting paper because I feel like I'm getting the most for my buff out of it. Okay, so let's take this and I want to, because this isn't perfectly even, I'm gonna trim this, I'm gonna glue this right up to the top. Do we like this side or this side? Should we do something different and do this side? I can have one of each, right? There you go. Okay, because I'll show you the original. Oh, blooms, they're saying blooms, blooms. Balloons, okay, well, I'm glad I decided to do that. I several, like four or five balloons. So, 
the green glue just allows me to kind of wiggle Slide it into room. place. Yeah, it gets a little little sliding room. So the reason why I cut that down just a titch is because I'm going to make this a flap card. So if you have it right up to there, it does make it a little bit difficult for what I'm about to do. I'm going to take right here, and you can do either side, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take a two and a quarter circle punch, and I'm going to put this in down so that it's touching the bottom of our punches, and I am going to kind of eyeball this. There is a teeny weeny line. I'll show you after I punch. And I'm going to make a punch. That's it. So I normally save stuff like this, but yeah, if you look down on the punches, there's a little notch in here and there's a little right here. And that kind of tells you where center is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. So now I've got my card like this, right? Let's do a little bit more punching. Let's take, I'm going to use a piece of Bermuda Bay. Glad those match sides. And I'm going to punch out in my favorite little two inch circle punch. Some Bermuda Bay. And then in the, there's a little, I think, fuzzball type thing that's supposed to go on top of um, the party hats. Can you hand me the stamp set? I don't know if that makes sense. I'm I'm visual, so I figure everybody else is. See this little fuzzball that I think is supposed to go on top of the party hat? That's what I meant. So I'm going to take that little fuzzball, and I'm going to go and randomly stamp this around. Did Janet make it on? Yeah. Oh, good. I hope She's I was going on vacation. I know it. That's what I was going to say. Weeks. Six weeks, Janet. I'm going to miss you. Huh. And they're all saying they never noticed that center punch before, that center notch before. Oh, really? Janet, Bethann. Yeah, take a look at your... Jean, Cindy. Okay. So maybe I've kind of gone a little crazy here with that, but... Yeah, you I didn't really do it on the center. It's more on the edges that I'm that I'm looking at putting that. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this. I'm going to need this back, so I'm going to give you the the cleaner, and you go ahead and clean. More chores? Come on. You got to earn your Scooby Snacks. Mr. I did already. <laughs> if you're not good to me, you won't. Uh, be getting any. So then I'm going to make this a happy birthday card and I'm going to use a little black memento ink. I'm trying not to press as much down on the thing so it doesn't wiggle the camera because I'm learning that that wiggles the camera pretty good. And press it down and just let that get a Trade me now. You can clean that one now. <laughs> I guess. We're going to be using that again. And then I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle and just put that right in the middle. What do you mean you guess? You are so lucky to be working for me. That's I have, right. I have benefits. That's right. There's health care and dental and eye. <laughs> However, busy. And in and an Izzy, that's right. Okay. Did Joy respond back on talking tomorrow? Did you happen to see that? I haven't yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that right in the center. Wait, you guys. And then just on this very edge of where this is gonna go. I'm gonna glue just down here. Isn't it cute so far? And I'm not done. We still have decorating to do. There's still a lot of decorating to do. Okay. Isn't that cute? 
so it just flips open. Okay, then let's open it up and let's take this toucan. I chose the toucan because I just think he's the cutest. Toucan, Trying to be aware because some of you said that my camera shakes. I need you to build me something so that the camera isn't on the table and then it won't shake. So I'm gonna put oh him God. right here. I know. Can I drill in the walls? No, you cannot drill in my walls. Oh. <laughs> I can't even believe you just asked me oh, that. <laughs> question, does it fit in an A2 envelope? Yes. Yes, it does. It fits perfectly because we cut it down. Who was that? Was that Joy? No, it was actually France. Oh, yes, it does, France. France can ask me anything. So then I'm going to use the stamp and Write markers. Now, a lot of times you see me use the blends, and I have another project coming up where I am using the blends with him. But the reason why I'm using the stamp and Write markers, they do work differently. For this, I'm doing it to fill in his beak here, but because these don't bleed through, the blends will bead, bleed through bead through, bleed through. So I've got Daffodil Delight, and I'm just gonna come in here. Are you laughing at me? No, comments. What are you guys saying that he is so hysterical tonight? What? Well, uh, Jamie Snook said, uh, get to work, Bill, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I like her. We need to have her over for dinner. Uh, no, <laughs> she lives in Centerville. Well, good, then that's not that far away. Yeah. Okay, you tell him. And then this one was um, Melon Mango, or what is it called? Mango Melody, that's it. <laughs> Melon Mango. Melon Mango. Yeah. And then I'm using the Terracotta Tile, and I got this color combination because this is what is in the paper. So it's really cool that Stampin' Up! makes um, everything match. You can really, isn't he adorbs? He is. Okay. He's a cutie. So we're still not done. Not? What else? <laughs> well, I need the stamp set because apparently I have the wrong. What does this go to? I grabbed the wrong. Oh, I know what that goes to. Give me that. I need that. <laughs> okay. I need this one though, too. So I didn't have one mounted. And then I'm just going to take, and again, when I'm doing stuff that I need to see, because we have, we have little. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. We have little blocks that fit stamps like this, but when I want to see through, my tip is to just use a bigger block. So I'm going to grab some Bermuda Bay out. And I'll show you why, because then you can, you see, you can see through it where your placement is. So let's bring this back over here and let's celebrate you. Now you can clean that off. Oh, thanks. So, isn't that cute? We're still not done. While we're at it, let's do the inside sentiment. It says, I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. So let's put that on the inside. Bill, do you know where my envelopes are or not? And if you don't, that's fine. We're here in a box, probably. <laughs> yeah, those aren't it. Don't. It's okay. Those aren't it. If you don't know, you don't know. I don't know. Not since okay. You moved into this office. Okay. It's okay. Yes, it does fit into an A2 envelope. We're still not done. You can clean that one too. Good gracious. <laughs> Isn't this cute? I think this is absolutely adorable. But then as I was working on it, I was like, well, wait a second here. It's, it wasn't staying down. So I had to come up with a solution for that. And let's see if I can find my little half inch punch. I took some Mango Melody and I just went ahead and stamped it out right here. And then I took another circle punch. This is the half inch circle and I put that right in the middle. Oops. 
Now you can clean this one again. I, I don't need it after that. Okay. And then I want to take a It was that. Are you able to get it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So I don't move back on it. Then I'm going to take um, a glue dot and at the bottom of this, I'm going to attach it. And I'm going to just place this centered like so, so that my card holds down like this. And then because I like a nice little bit of bling, I'm going to put that right in the center. Okay, seriously adorable, isn't it? Isn't this cute? This set is so cute. This is great for a kid's card. This is great for a 31-year-old, right, Madison? <laughs> Yours isn't going to look like this, trust me, but... Well, she's watching. I know. And that's why I don't I I didn't want her to think she was going to get this one. Is that cute, you guys? Mm -hmm. I love it. Yep, and they love it. And Are they saying anything? Christy Nelson from Sydney, Australia. Ooh. The card's going to try it. Oh, awesome. Yes, isn't it? I think it's just adorable. It's so simple. So, those measurements again was it is a card base that is 4 and a quarter by 10 and 7 eighths, and then I scored it at two and a half and six and three quarters. That's it. Large circle punch, go to town. Okay, so that's the first project. Then we're gonna make uh, a matching little thing to give with it, but I'm gonna stop yeah. right here. Yeah, let's, let's hear about your. I've got some exciting news, you guys. So I'm I'm doing my um, specials different from Stampin' Up. So I just want to tell you, Piccadilly Perks is a rewards program where you can earn free products from me just for being my loyal customer. How it works is that every $35 purchase that you um, spend, you earn one of the letters in Piccadilly. There's 10 letters in Piccadilly, so when you earn them all, then you earn a free shopping spree on me, which is a $25 free shopping spree, but I'm also going to pay the tax and the shipping, so it comes out to be a, a $35 value. So it's just kind of like like a punch card, you know, yeah. like when you um, buy 10, get, buy one 10 get one free. Yes. So that's Piccadilly Perks. I also have something pretty exciting to tell you guys. I've listened to some of your messages and emails and you wanted me to develop some card kits to go. So I did. I started this first one very simple. Um, it may be aimed for um, new, new stampers, but also it's available if you're a demonstrator and you need ideas for classes, this is perfect for classes to do make and takes. So it does include the PDF instructions. There is um, two each of four designs, so that means eight cards of pre-cut card stocks. That is, that is um, all of the, um, oh, what is it called? Die cuts and everything. You get one pack of six by six designer series paper, one roll of the metallic edge, silver edge ribbon, and one pack of basic rhinestones. The only thing that you need is inks, tools, um, and adhesive. So the stamps and stuff cannot, I cannot stamp the images for you, just that's per stamping up. But I can sell you everything to do it and give you the instructions, and they are picture instructions. So there are three different ways you can buy. You can buy just the PDF instructions, like I said. For those of you who maybe just want something to have ideas for classes that are good make and takes, this is perfect for that. You can kind of see the projects behind here, but I do have it hidden. Um, I will send you an email and you fill it out to reserve it and it will ask you how to pay. Um, and if you click PayPal, it's just gonna, it, it'll send me a notice and then I will send you an invoice for it. Um, otherwise you can pay by check. So anyway, that was it. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope yeah. you guys like it a lot. It's my very first one. And then my last promotion that is one of mine 
is these poppies. And I don't know if you know, but Laura bought the whole set. Oh, wow. So I've got a promotion Thanks, going Laura. on. Yes, thank you, Laura. Um, I've got a promotion going on that I have a set of um, poppy cards. And if you buy the bundle, the whole bundle, and Marsha bought one too. Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, she bought one last week. So you get a $25 value, but it would be yours for free. If you buy this bundle set, which includes both of the stamp sets, the paper, the ribbon, the elements, and the sequins, you get a PDF um, uh, just showing you how to make some projects to kind of help inspire you. And if you do it before the 14th, because this will be going on for a while, but if you do this before the 14th of this month, I have an extra gift that I'm sending to people just for placing an order. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So there are my Way specials. Stuff. Now, let's go back. We had left off with this card, and it's still stinking cute. I had to do it again just because I think I'm talented. There you go. We're going to make a matching um, container that, would you like to hand me the next box? The not so heavy one. The not so heavy one, yes. So, you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy here, but I was thinking, how can I recycle this? So I came up with an idea, and this is actually fairly easy. This thing is easy to clean out because it was just those little chippies. So this is great for party favors. You know, like here's a little Play-Doh and, whoops, I think I have to put this one in first and put the Play-Doh sideways. And, oh, some candies like this. Bill, are you over there like, ooh, Scooby Snacks. <laughs> is that mine? It is not. Here is the... I want the Play-Doh. <laughs> Sorry. Here is the supplies that we're going to make for this. Hi, Nicola. Um, so this is just those servings grab and go ones. It's just the smaller servings of Pringles. And then I just cleaned it out. It was very easy to do. I am going to be using the um, layered circles, the circles and the layers and the scallops, I mean. It does come with some die cuts. We're going to be cutting out the toucan in this one again because I wanted it to match. And just because we are on Facebook, and I know you guys have family and friends and stuff, I wanted to have stuff pre-cut um, so that you could get to your family and friends. So I chose to go with this because I think it's really pretty. What? They're saying give it to me. Give it to you? Yeah. Give you the candy? Can. No. But when you get done, give it to me. Oh, give it to you. <laughs> you guys are such suckers for him. <laughs> okay. uh, do you think he really needs all that? No, I don't. Okay. So I'm going to explain here. You can have a Kit Kat. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to explain how I did this. I cut the paper, and this is, I think I have, three and one eighth by nine and a half. And you can choose whatever side you wanted, but I wanted this zigzag, or zigzag, um, diagonal. That's the word I want. I wanted the diagonal side. And I'm going to teach you something that I learned. I love the tear and tape. I, a lot of times I, you guys see me use the fast fuse, but I love the tear and tape too. For different things. This is going to hold very well, but I want to get it right up to the edge. Am I in camera okay? Yeah. Okay. I think we haven't got there yet. Okay. Yeah, you are. On the phone, you're there already. Okay. I'm right up to the edge, and then you can, like, tear it. I love that, right? So we're going to do it on both sides. On the side that we don't want facing out. Okay. Now, if this doesn't work for me after it's been working here, I'm going to just about die because I'm on live, but... Here's my little trick. I've been doing this lately and it really helps. So rub down the adhesive tape on each end like this. And I've always been going from the end and picking it, but I saw someone recently who went in from the middle. Look at that. 
right off. I just think that is phenomenal. I've left my little cup. Where's your cup? I don't know. So let me show you again. I'm See, just... Did you take the cup? Right through the middle. Is that not the quickest? Love it. I would sit there and pick at that end, and they're like, oh, no, 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 don't do that, because I had just a little hangover, so I folded it down. Um, because it takes forever, and then you get that end all fussy. So wherever you want the back to be, and I want this to be the back, you want to put this down towards the bottom is where you want to start. That's where the leg sits on tight. That's right. Oh, ah. I love it that you knew that. Uh, or maybe we should give this thing to Kathy Walton. She's going to get plenty of two feet of snow over the next couple of days. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm That's in Colorado. So we don't want that here. No, 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 no. no you no. keep it. Now, going to the end, this is what's going to keep it straight. And come around. Like so. I've been saying that lately. Like so. I don't know where I got that. I think my... Like so. Okay. It kind of lines up pretty darn close. Okay. So there's my edge. And I picked this side because there's a little bit of the silver foil that is off. But when you put the lid on, look at that. Isn't that great? Okay. So now we'll put this stuff in. I cut out in Melon Mambo and in Daffodil Delight, because these were the colors here, I cut out two pieces of cardstock with the layering circles, and I'm gonna glue them together. And line them up. I like that this is kind of green too, you know, recycling. Yeah. And I'm going to use a little bit of the sticky tape. At least from this house, it won't go in the garbage. <laughs> You're not getting it. Oh! <laughs> And there's nothing in the other one, so you're not getting it. Listen to him. I just gave you a piece of chocolate. I know. It's sitting over there. So come in through the middle and zip. Did anybody else know this? Did I teach anybody this? Or is this one of those things that I just think that it's magnificent and everyone knew all along? Yeah, I don't know. We're waiting to see. Okay. And we're going to stick that right on top. And I'm going to actually pull this off so I can stick stick. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to stamp in Bermuda Bay since that's the color that I'm on here. And there's a little die cut in there that will cut that out. But because I was trying to save a little bit of time. That's my one stamping that I that I demonstrated. <laughs> I've already got one cut out, and I've already got. People the... are saying they learned something new tonight. Oh, good, good. Then it wasn't just me. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the little toucan. And I'm going to put one there, and I think what I'm going to do is. I'll take this long edge piece for down his little bum. And we're going to stick this to the top of the can. Oh, where's the back? There's the back. So we're going to have him kind of down towards the bottom. And then we're going to take the little hat. We need the mini dimensionals for the little hat. Not two, just one. I love these. I love that they came out with the different sizes. And I put it more up towards the top. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to kind of set this whoops, hat kind of off to the side. And it's sitting on top of him so that matches. 
we have assorted pom-poms. I think these are cute. They look like clown noses. Clown noses. And I'm going to grab dimensionals for this. And should we do one of the, yeah, let's do one of the reds. It is still my favorite. So we stick that on there. Isn't he cute? Whoops. Awesome. You take that. No. Oh. And then I'm going to take the terracotta tile, which matches with our card, and I cut off a piece. This is the, what is this called? The linen, scalloped linen ribbon. And I cut it at nine and a half again. So on this. More tear and tape? More tear and tape. It sticks really well. Oh, I bet it does. So you can just place it on like so and walk it down. Walk it down. Whoops. So you guys, I have a bunch of Quickadillies. I've taped, I think, four. I've got a couple of them coming out this week alone, um, possibly one tomorrow for simple stamping because we've got a campaign going, Stampin' Up! does. So remember what I taught you. Press it down with something, a bone fold or anything. Isabel, right through the middle like this. This is a little longer, so. Yeah, looks like you got it down there. I know. Okay, now this, starting at the back again, I'm just gonna put this as just a little decoration going around. Um, you can put it more than one if you wanted to. That one was sufficient. I will say though, you're kind of committed when you stick stick it down, so make sure you're sticking it in the middle and being aware of where the placement is. Because this stuff is pretty sticky. Easy peasy. Like so. Hello from Texas, Rixie. So here you have, let me get that out of the way. Here you have the little party favor instead of those bags, save your little uh, lunch box. Bill thinks he's taking this in his lunch tomorrow. Don't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> he's making a face. And this cute little matching card. I think this is so cute. This would also be cute. Imagine how much this would brighten up like a coworker um, to have this sitting on their desk for their birthday. It's just a little something. You know, the the it's more about the presentation, I think, so much more than it is the gift, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's just the thought. Like the people know that you take time, and I know that some people have told me how much they appreciate when I make um, handmade cards and stuff for them. It brings a smile to people's face. So, this was tonight's projects. We do have the drawing left. I do want to mention that was Bonanza Buddies, and it does have um, a matching die set, and... Um, this DSP that's so phenomenal. Oh, I just love this. So cute, so cute. Any comments? Are they saying oh, anything? I love it. Are they giving me any hearts? Um, yeah, oh yeah. And then Pam from uh, South Louisiana. Hello. Hello. Are you a Pam or a Pamela? It says Pam Kidder on here. Does it? A Pam? I'm a Pamela. Okay, you guys were so awesome at sharing last week. There was so many watch parties going on, and I had the most shares I've ever had. So I want to thank you, one, for that. How you get into my drawing is when you um, share my video to your page or to a crafting site or have a watch party, then it shows up on my uh, link, and I am able to pick from the previous week's link. So if you want to get into next week's drawing, share my link. Oh, they've been sharing. Okay, great. So let's go. Look at this. There's a lot in here, you guys. Digging down. Okay. Digging down deep. Ooh, there is quite a few. Yeah, there is a lot this time. Get clear to the bottom <laughs> there. Oh, who do we got? Okay, who is it? Angie. 
Oh, Angie! <laughs> you won tonight's uh, make and take, so that's awesome, which I was, oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, that is so awesome. Okay, you wanna do another one? Yep. Okay, dig down. Okay. Digging. Lori, monkey. Oh, monkey, okay. Lori, and I have for you a couple of, these are from, well, you can earn this for free on Celebration. These are the cards that I made um, from the kerchief set. I'll send you a couple of these in the mail. So, and I have both of your addresses, so that's awesome. You guys, I really appreciate it that you allow me to come into your home every week and that you support me in my business. I thank you so much for that. If you don't have a demonstrator and need one, I'm more than willing to um, send you a catalog and be your demonstrator. I'd be happy to do that. And um, if you would like to purchase any of this stuff, uh, I do have a store for that, an online store. You can just click the Shop Now button. Um, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, I'll put it down in the description. So have a great evening, you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. See you next week. Bye-bye.